Sandwiched in between Brazil and Argentina, the two largest countries in South America by area, is the relatively small Uruguay. Despite having such large and powerful neighbors, Uruguay has been independent since 1828. The fact that this small nation has survived for nearly 200 years without being absorbed into either Argentina or Brazil sparks the question, why does Uruguay exist? Interestingly, Uruguay was one of the last areas to be colonized in South America. European interest in the region was limited because of the absence of gold and silver. However, Uruguay's position on the border between Portuguese Brazil and Spanish Rio de la Plata would soon make it an important region for both powers. In 1680, the Portuguese built a fort at Colonia del Sacramento, directly across the Rio de la Plata from Buenos Aires. To counter, the Spanish founded Montevideo nearby in 1726, which would become the capital and largest city in Uruguay. After the 1810 May Revolution in Buenos Aires, Montevideo became a Spanish royalist stronghold under the new viceroy Francisco Javier de Elio. The towns and villages surrounding Montevideo made up the region known as the Banda Oriental and were initially loyal to the viceroy. However, when Elio declared war on rebellious Buenos Aires and raised taxes to maintain royalist armies, the revolutionary cry of Asensio was made on February 28, 1811, beginning the Oriental Revolution. The gacho José Gervasio Artigas emerged as the leader of the independence struggle in the Banda Oriental. Artigas led the Patriots to a major victory outside of Montevideo at the Battle of Las Piedras and laid siege to Montevideo. Desperately, the Royalists requested the aid of the Portuguese in Brazil to put down the rebellion, and the Portuguese invaded the Banda Oriental. Buenos Aires then sued for peace. Artigas felt betrayed and led his supporters out of the Banda Oriental in what would be known as the Oriental Exodus. After the formation of a new government in Buenos Aires, Artigas joined a second siege of Montevideo. During the siege, the Assembly of the Year 13 was called by the Second Triumvirate of Argentina to determine a governing system for the United Provinces of South America. Artigas favored a federalist system as opposed to the centralist proposition of Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires and Montevideo were rival commercial centers on opposite banks of the Rio de la Plata. Thus, a more centralized federalist system would have benefited the city of Montevideo and would have checked the power of Buenos Aires. However, the delegates sent by Artigas were not received. Artigas was furious and abandoned the siege. He formed the League of the Free Peoples in 1814. A year later, he liberated Montevideo from the Argentines and declared the Federal League. In 1816, the Portuguese again invaded the Banda Oriental. After four years of warfare, a defeated Artigas went into exile in Paraguay, and the Banda Oriental was absorbed into Brazil as the Cisplatina province. Unrest grew in the Banda Oriental, and on April 19, 1825, the 33 Orientals, a group of Uruguayan revolutionaries led by Juan Antonio Lavalleja, crossed the Rio de la Plata from Buenos Aires to organize an insurrection against the Brazilians. On August 25, 1825, Representatives from the Banda Oriental met in the town of La Florida and declared independence from Brazil, which was supported by the United Provinces of the Rio de la Plata. Brazil declared war. The ensuing Cisplatine War lasted until August of 1828. After mediation by the British, the Banda Oriental was established as a state independent of both the United Provinces and Brazil. Thus, the Oriental Republic of Uruguay was born. Today, it is clear that Uruguay has developed a national identity distinct from that of Argentina or Brazil. The country has grown to become one of the most economically prosperous and democratic nations in the region, and has fiercely maintained their independence for nearly 200 years. Uruguay's history of fierce resistance to foreign occupiers, be them Spanish, Portuguese, Argentine, or Brazilian, makes it clear that Uruguay has earned its place on the world map today. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to support more videos like this. See you in the next video.